What's up guys? Welcome to Crosshair Nation. Today we're going to be taking a look at a pretty cool gun. This is the Hammerly Tac R1 by Walter. This is an AR-15 style rifle chambered in 22. And we're going to be going over three components in this video. The facts and the features of the gun. We're going to take it to the range so you guys can see how it performs. We're going to put it through our accuracy and handling test. And third, we're going to go over our opinion and review of the firearm, weigh the pros and the cons, why you should buy it, and what you should buy it for. But before we do any of that, I think we should just shoot this thing a little bit. Alright, so looking at the firearm objectively, this foregrip, optic, magazine, and stock did not come with the firearm. You do get a stock with the firearm, but I added my own. I also put my own 1x4 optic on here for preference. This is a 20 round clip, you're going to get a 10 round clip in the box. These are pretty cheap to get online, about 15-20 bucks. And then an angled foregrip I added onto here as well. So just wanted to point that out, this is not what it'll look like coming out of the box. It'll look pretty raw, as it will be the same for any AR or weapon that you get when you buy something out of the box. So just going over the facts and features, we've got a 38 inch barrel, which adds a decent amount of accuracy. It's not too short, not too long. You've got a removable flash hider right here and the thread is half inch by 28, making it pretty versatile in the market. So you're able to add a suppressor or whatever other muzzle device you want to. I don't know why you would, but you could if you really wanted to. The firearm performs and functions feature-wise almost exactly like an AR. There's only one thing that doesn't perform like an AR, and that is right here, which is gonna be your bolt release. This does not do anything, it's not functional. Your selector is functional, you've got fire and safe. Your mag release is functional, just like it would be on an AR. Your charging handle is functional. It holds open on the last round with the magazine open, and obviously, it performs as it does right there when your magazine is out and when there's no ammo. You've got your dust cover, which performs exactly like it would in an AR. So overall, everything feature-wise is performing exactly like your AR-15 would, except for that bolt catch. That can be a draw for people sometimes, and we'll talk a little bit about all those things later. But those are the overall features and dimensions and facts of the firearm. I think that's enough to be said. I say we just take it to the range. We start to put some rounds through it. Let's see how accurate this thing is. Let's see how it performs. And then we'll talk about the gun overall. So loading it up is pretty simple. You've got this little slider on your magazines right here, and you're just gonna insert each bullet right there. Makes it really, really easy. It can take some time, but it's not complicated at all. I just wanted to show you guys how that performs. We'll go ahead and speed it up here, and then we'll, we'll get shooting. Alrighty, so as you can see, you probably see those three white circles over there. Those are our targets. I'm gonna first shoot the top left one. All of them are blank. I'm about 25 yards away right now. I think that's a good distance to be shooting standing up with an AR, it's pretty realistic. And then we'll take it back to about 50 yards and we'll shoot from a sitting position. But we're just gonna start standing up. I'm just gonna shoot about five rounds at it. We'll go ahead and take a look and then we'll move backwards. So that was just 25 yards. I was just standing up and I was shooting pretty quickly at that top left target Let's go ahead and take a look and then we'll bring it back to 50 yards so as we can see here It's not too bad. We've got a group. I actually shot six shots We've got a grouping of three right here and a grouping of three right here at 25 yards. That's pretty awesome Actually, this is about the size of a head. I was aiming for the black So it was dropping just a tad that could have been me could have been my scope but I think it shows some decent consistency here. I mean, each little grouping of three is within the size of a quarter. So that's not too bad for a standing position at 25 yards. Let's bring it back to 50 yards and see how we can perform on this top right corner right here. All right guys, so we're here at 50 yards and we're going to go ahead and shoot five more rounds at 50 yards and see how it performs accurately. So 
as you just saw, it performed pretty darn well at 50 yards. I shot that first one a little bit low. That was totally my fault. I was kind of just adjusting for my distance. And once I figured out where I was hitting, I was able to consistently hit within the size of a quarter and the grouping was pretty tight. This gun isn't even meant to be super, super accurate and yet it performs pretty darn accurately. I'd be curious to push it out to 100, maybe even 150 yards. We'll do that in another video. But for the purpose of this video, 50 yards with a grouping of that consistency with dirty ammo, I'd say is performing pretty darn well. So overall, my opinion and review of this gun, I 100% recommend it. I recommend it for anybody that wants a plinking gun that, that can replicate their AR-15. I enjoy shooting this so much. It's probably one of my favorite guns to shoot and it's consistently at the top of my list when I go to the range. It's cheap to shoot 22 ammunition. It's really, really good to have a weapon in which you can practice the functionality of shooting an AR-15 without having to expend so much money on 5.56 or 2.23. It's getting a lot more expensive in our day and age. The only downside and con to this gun is again that it doesn't have that functioning bolt release which I think can throw some people off if they're functioning or they're um, doing a lot of training in which they would need something that's exactly replicating the AR. But for the average Joe, I think that this would work pretty darn well for just getting used to shooting on the platform of an AR-15. So if you're looking for a gun that's fun to plank with, it's accurate, it's consistently in line with how an AR-15 would feel and shoot for the most part. Again, that disclaimer, it's not perfect. It's not completely and utterly exactly like an AR-15. Then I think this is a great gun for you. And honestly, if you're just looking for a fun gun that's good at target practice and is enjoyable to shoot, this one 100% is a great gun to come shoot. Um, I believe at Bass Pro Shop, Cabela's, and a few other places, you're ranging from about $450 to $550. Um, that's about what I've seen on the market for how much it's going to cost. Again, overall, it's accurate. I haven't had it jam that much. It feels like shooting an AR-15, and it's just overall fun. So I think for the purposes of a good plinking and even training gun, something to practice shooting, to get used to shooting an AR-15, this gun 100% is a great thing to go and pick up and buy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the three components, the facts, the shooting, and the overall opinion review. I'd love to hear how I can make my videos better or what you liked or didn't like about this video. Please drop it in the comments below. If you do like what we did around here and if you like the culture of this channel, please go ahead and hit a subscribe and go ahead and like this video and check out some of our other reviews and shooting videos. Um, appreciate you guys coming along today and have a wonderful rest of your day.